Joining us now in the studio to talk about the growing cyber threat is cybersecurity analyst Diana Blachman from Cyber Reason. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, let's me. begin by talking a little bit about uh, you know, the European targets that we've seen. Why were these European, these European companies being targeted in the last few days? And is there any sort of pattern that we're seeing? Is there a motive of sorts? Well, it's not necessarily a targeted attack. We don't, we don't know if we can say that at the moment. We do know that these were targeted because of their, their vulnerability, because they were unpatched Windows machines. Mm -hmm. That's the only pattern that you can see. And the fact that they were spreading across organizations was because of the vulnerability. Interesting. Now, so. ILTV is still here with us because this is something that has really been on your mind and obviously you just covered yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, this is a big deal. Cybersecurity is huge and Israel is kind of like really big in that, in that world. So, yeah, I really wanted to say, and, you know, speaking of, you know, these different types of attacks and vulnerabilities and things like that, you know, if we've seen a lot of different ransomwares that have floated to the surface in the last few months, do you think that there's any sort of con concentrated effort from an organization or, a, or like a united group or united front of some sort, like anonymous or I don't know anything like that? Or is this individuals kind uh, of doing Yeah, random thing? attacks. Well, it's not random. It's the, the reason why these attacks are surfacing at the moment, it's mm -hmm. because uh, there were enormous leaks of NSA tools and exploits just a few months ago. Uh, mm. a, a hacking group named uh, Shadow Brokers leaked those exploits and vulnerabilities. And different people, different cyber crime groups or even nation states are using these exploits mm. in order to gain money, gain control, uh, influence the, 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 the psychological effects of these cyber attacks. So speaking of those you know, psychological effects, who are the biggest targets? So at the moment, this is uh, Ukraine. Ukraine seems mm -hmm. to be one of the biggest targets of this specific attack, and that's mm -hmm. why a lot of people are blaming Russia for it. Mm -hmm. uh, but we don't know because Russia was, well, was attacked as well and targeted. Um, but again, it's, it's very uh, unreasonable to be the, the, the source of it because we see that there is no clear pattern. Ransomware is usually uh, demanding uh, ransomware, right? Mm -hmm. right. So it's a, uh, and we don't see anything like that in this case because there is no address. The address is blocked. You can't really pay. And so this, it seems more like uh, something to be with a moral effect, something to be as a warning sign. Mm -hmm. okay? And it, it is related to WannaCry as well because it's using the same exploit and the same vulnerability. And WannaCry was the ransomware that was used in the UK against Parliament. Exactly, yes. the one from a few months now, ago. Now, you know, Aaron spoke about the role that Israel is playing in kind of combating mm -hmm. these threats. Why is Israel such a leading, um, you know, I mean, why are there so many Israeli companies that are leading in, in combating cyber security threats? Well, first, we have brilliant people here. <laughs> um, <laughs> Aaron, don't pat yourself yeah, on the back. Know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, well, we. First, uh, Israel is leading in the cybersecurity space. We see hundreds of companies and startups, and we see big, large-scale companies that are building uh, cybersecurity centers in Israel, mm -hmm. such as Microsoft or uh, Kaspersky. Um, the reason for it is because people have a lot of experience. Most of it is from the military. We see more and more people going straight from the military to building their own companies, having a lot of experiences in that field. Um, and again, we do want to be uh, standing in front of this battle and not losing in the cyber war. Sure. Absolutely. Well, we've unfortunately run out of time, but for those of you who would like to hear Yana answer more questions, just tune into Facebook uh, where you can see us live and Yana live. So good luck, Yana, with the, the Facebook live questions. Thank you All so right. much.